Hey man, I'm Josh. I'm Jacob. This, and we were just talking about something that's really a sticking point for Jacob, but let's get into it real quick. I think it's official because you've always told me how big my, I have a large head and I've always said you have a bigger head than me. More brain. Okay. That's what your mom told you. That is what my mom told me, but I think we have now finally established who's got the bigger dome and it's you. Yeah. What? That's your only response to that? Yeah, you know, you whatever helps you sleep at night. Mm, that's so you're admitting defeat. No, your opinion's your opinion. Your hat is on. You have three. What are those called? I you, I was wearing it on two all weekend, but I just it was I loosened it up. I wanted it a little looser. Yeah, but two is when I wear loose. When I want to wear it so it fits, I go one, and if I want to go tight, I go zippo. Yeah, I you just, definitely I, I have a have, bigger head. I have thicker hair than you. More hair. Oh, than oh. So now, when I used to say to you, the reason my hat, my hat, I wear it a little bigger is because of my hair. You were like, "Oh, and your big head." So now you're using my excuse. No, you? I just have more hair than you. So that's not an excuse. That's just fact. What size fitted hat do you wear? Seven and a quarter, seven and an eighth, somewhere between there. Yeah, I wear seven and eighth or a seven. So you do not wear a seven. I wear a seven or a yeah. seven and eighth. Absolute cap. It I'm is gonna, a cap. Yeah. I'm going to go buy a, a seven fitted hat. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to go get our heads measured. We'll get our heads measured, and the loser has to wear a really embarrassing hat. I mean, you already for have. For a show. You already have that tie-dye wolf hat, so. That's an embarrassing wolf hat. hat. The Coachella girl hat. The you mean the I, hat that everyone likes except for you? The one that I hate. Yeah. Look, so look, this is how I, I, I you can everybody can have their own opinions. If you like that hat, your opinion's wrong. This okay. is how I know something's gonna look good. Cause if I'm like, what do you think? And you're like, that's terrible. I'm like, I'm gonna wear that. Yeah, but you don't do it because you know it's gonna look good. You do it because you know it makes and that doesn't make me angry. You do it because you know I don't like it. <laughs> it's half the reason I literally bought a pair of sunglasses last week. That's, because Iman said she didn't like them. And I was like, I'm buying them. But that's not true because I bought that wolf hat. I bought two because I bought one for you because it was so cool. Yeah, you didn't check, you didn't check with me before. That's not true. Everybody except for you and Elton Caste, and Elton happened to be there when I bought it. He said, why are you buying the ugliest hat I've ever seen in my life? And not only why are you buying it, why are you buying two? And I said, because it's awesome. That's why. Now, this hat with these, well, whatever. I have another hat in the car. You want me to go get it? Nah, I don't really care. You can wear this one. I'll take my hat off. Nah, I'm good. That hat is way too big for me, obviously. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you got a bigger head. You can adjust it. Did you just sing it? Did you sing you can adjust it right now? Did no, you go, I'm... you can adjust it? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I do like, sometimes I sing, you you know, sometimes I do that where I sing like yeah. sentences that are like just come to my mind. Like it's, it's most of the time it's bad things. That's it. And because it makes it sound less bad, you know? Do you know what I do to your mom sometimes that she sometimes she borderline likes but also hates a lot of things yes but I also do like sometimes I have musical theater day and I just sing everything I say do you want some eggs for breakfast this morning ha 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 and it starts out funny but like an hour in I think it's probably pretty annoying which is why I do it yep it was pretty annoying, just that one sentence. Oh, is it? Yeah. What if I did a, an entire podcast musical theater style? What musical theater love, style. Da, 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 I would da, love for you to try. Cha, cha, cha. You'd have to be able to let me get my sentences out, though. <laughs> and you're not good at that, even when you're not singing. So, I don't know. I do want to apologize. I caught myself last week, for sure. I interrupted you a bunch of times. I apologize. Oh, I appreciate it. It's all good. I'm also, I'm, I'm working on that as, as well, to not interrupt people in the middle of their thoughts. I I'm still talking. think that I I was pausing and waiting and I could see you perched, ready to say something. Yeah. I, I think a musical theater, an entire musical theater episode, you know, because we I, it together. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Because here's the deal. Like when in old, you were too young to remember a show called Moonlighting. But Moonlighting was Bruce Willis's first show. Oh, okay. It's where he burst onto the scene. It was him and a woman named Sybil Shepard. 
Yo, and by the civil, way, civil, Shepherd? civil. Oh, with a B, civil. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you something about Civil Shepherd. Straight up, what, first of all, gorgeous. But what great comedic timing she had. The two of them together, I would put them up there. This is a good thing for us to talk about as as best couples or or not couples, but like will oh. will they or won't they tension. Like on like on screen, yeah. Th- their tension was so good. I would put them up there. Obviously, Ross and Rachel, and um, ooh, Sam and Diane in on Cheers. Oh, yeah. I, I know of Cheers, but I, I I I maybe seen an episode. Yeah, Sam and Diane on Cheers. I just uh, don't know where I'd even be able to watch it. Uh, probably TV Land. TV the, Land, the, the 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 TV station. Yeah, like I have cable. Yeah, but they it's on YouTube TV, probably TV land. See, yo, dude, stop saying that YouTube TV isn't cable. It's cable, but just no cable. But it, it has but, the same channel. It's only got no no. no. And it costs more. Ca- it's a doop de doop dee. Cable though has like all the weird channels in between. This YouTube TV just has like 70 channels. That's it. It has like your main channels that you would like and need. It doesn't have any of the like the like, like the bullshit random ones in between. I, I, I definitely hate it when I see a channel that says like 64.7. I'm like, what the fuck is this, this FM radio? Yeah. Like, but, <laughs> dude, TV land is, or I bet you, you can find cheers on Nickelodeon or Nick at night, which is YouTube TV. Zero chance you can find cheers on Nick at night. Fine. I, I would bet, you know why? Because I used to watch Nick at night forever. I can, I would bet, and I'm, any amount of money that Cheers does not play on Nick at Night. Matt, will you Google where I can find Cheers, please? I'll do it. Okay, Jacob, will you Google? Cheers, dude, is top level a sitcom. I will. I, I don't know why the sitcom, because people oh. watch. What is it on? Uh, It's on Paramount Plus. It's on Hulu. Yep. It's on not YouTube TV, just YouTube, but you okay. have to have a primetime subscription. Okay. It's on Apple TV. Dude, it's on everything because it's one of the best sitcoms of all time. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I, I, I know the reputation that it has. Yeah. I'm not talking any shit about it. I just, like you said, TV land. What's your four? What, what, what? Give me your four favorite sitcoms ever. Ooh, dude. Okay. This is going to be tough for me to go off top. Uh, yeah, that's a hard one. Does Fresh Prince count as a sitcom? A hundred percent is a sitcom. Fresh Prince. I, I want to ask another question that uh, that will couch for after, but I want to say it out loud because I'll forget. Okay. Why do you think people will watch the old sitcoms? And they do, but they won't watch any new sitcoms. And if if it's because you say new sitcoms suck, I wonder why they... It, it's not like the writers aren't good right now. I I, I think... There's a nostalgia attached to the old stuff that isn't. I would say yes, but I would also say the sitcoms that were on, you know, like the ones that I would consider the good ones. I do think sitcoms nowadays are terrible, but I also think that we can, that, that what contributes to that is like, just kind of like the more PC culture that we're in right now. Like, so I feel like everyone's a little more scared to push the envelope when it comes to it. The writers themselves aren't bad. It's just, the sh- and also, truthfully, I think the actors are terrible. I think it's a nostalgia thing, to tell you the truth. I think when you were like Fresh Prince, but Fresh Prince is no better than like, well, it's pretty great. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Well, you, you, you bite your tongue. For Hit me with your top say. four. We'll go one. We'll go tit for tit. Uh, Fresh tit. Prince for sure is, I would go tit for tat. What'd I say? Tit for tit. Yeah. <laughs> People not- don't go tit for tit, do they? No. Not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I know of. Hey, I'm gonna start to bring that in. Let's go tit for tit. That's like when I say tomato, tomato. Yeah, tomato, you, tomato, tit for tit. Tomato, tomato makes me laugh. It bothers the shit out. Of it's me. so funny. Okay, so you're gonna. Okay, I'm going Fresh Prince for sure as my first one. Here's where I'm gonna bump into problems because I love Seinfeld. I love Cheers. I love Friends. I love Cosby. But I'm mi- the Cosby I, Show, not Cosby himself. I am. Mi- I know I'm missing a ton of. Those are the first four that come to mind for me. That was only three. That was four. Did you say Fresh Prince? Uh, I said there? Friends, 
Cheers. Seinfeld. Oh, Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah, that was the other one. So it's really hard for me to get in there, but I'm just going to go on shows that the ones that made me laugh the hardest. So not the ones that I think are the most culturally important. No, just your favorite. Right. So Seinfeld, because I can still go back and watch those episodes. Yeah. So Seinfeld for me is 100% in there. Uh, I don't know, man. I would probably throw Martin in there. Yeah, I'm going to throw Martin in there. I'm surprised you were about it. You said that. Do you watch Martin? I watched a lot of Martin. Absolutely. Dude, Martin consistent. Be, because for me, it's between Martin and Jamie Foxx. Yo, dude, that Jamie he have his, his own. Yo, with Wanda? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, for me, like, Martin's funny. Yeah, I go Super Martin, funny. too. Martin's, and hard for me to choose Martin over Cosby. Very difficult. Mm -hmm. But Martin made me laugh more. Cosby's show, I think, was better and more significant. And the writing was different. And it was, it was, it was at, culturally at a time where they weren't putting the black right. families like that on TV. Right. So, hey, okay. So, Martin. I think for my third one, because I'm just really trying to base it off, base it off of like what I really watched and yeah. really liked. I'm throwing Full House in there. That's a great one, dude. For me, friends, I, again, I'm still watching. I'm still laughing. I don't know what my fourth would be. I can tell you what my fourth would be. And this is only because I don't know if it made me laugh as consistently, but as far as straight up hard laughs, Sanford and Son, dude. Is I ever, like, I don't think I've ever seen that. No, you probably wouldn't. But Red Fox was a dude who just said some shit. Dude. If you've if you've never listened to Red Fox stand up, it's dirty as woo, mm. but it's funny. So I would go Sanford and Son. It's hard for me to pick over Cheers. Uh, I'm gonna have to pick Cheers because have to pick Cheers. I have to pick Cheers only because. Oh uh, yeah, I'm picking Cheers. But Sanford and Son is a close fifth, and Cosby's in there. This one's gonna be a crazy shot. I also just didn't like, didn't watch a lot of sitcoms growing up. I'm a big yeah. cartoon guy. Yep. So like, if we're going cartoons, I'm in for that. Yep. Uh, I'm throwing, uh, I'm throwing Home Improvement with Tim Allen in there. Really? I, you know what I would that I don't hate as a like Two and a Half Men and Big I, Bang. T t two and a Half Men was up there for me too. Like makes like, me laugh. Too. Early Two and a Half Men. Two, two and a Half Men. God, that that's like that's that's Tiger's Blood, Charlie Sheen. I. Oh my God! Yeah, Two and yeah. a Half Men, earlier than Tiger's Blood, Charlie Sheen is great writing. He is legitimately funny. John Cryer, legitimately funny. The kid that they cast, super funny. God damn! Dude. And they're and they're uh, and they're the uh, housekeeper. Oh, again, holy shit. Yeah, that's really hard. These are hard choices for me because I think Two and a Half Men made me out loud laugh a bunch. Big Bang's a good shout. Yeah. Also, um. I also just like this. This was more of a nostalgic feeling because this one was just on all the time when I was a kid. Was the George Lopez show? Yeah, that I never really got into. But that, But it man. wasn't like it, for me. It's like it doesn't break in that into that barrier. Yeah, like, it's just more of just like a, a one of those that I remember watching. Plus, you played soccer with his daughter. You guys were on the same team. I did. Yeah, at Beeman Park. Who was she? His daughter. His daughter. I don't. Yeah, I, wait, I don't remember her name. You think I remember George Lopez's daughter's name? No, probably a good thing you don't. Yeah, I, that's not something. Well, okay, that's interesting. I, I, it's such a tough decision because there are so many great ones. Yeah. But I'm just basing it. But guys, please leave in a comment what your top four yeah. sitcoms are of but, all time. But, but 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 laugh out loud, consistent, Martin, Fresh Seinfeld, Prince. Cheers, and... For, yeah, Fresh Prince for me. I, and, not Fresh Prince. For me. Fresh Prince for me and Martin take the cake. Fresh Prince, but like, dude, my every time Friends. I just every time I think of Fresh Prince, I think of that scene where Jazzy Jeff is like playing the drums and Will Smith's doing the Running Man. But yeah, like shake, oh, so fucking, uh, or them walking into court together, him and Carlton in suits, Carlton himself, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Like, I, I'm gonna tell you controversial right now. You watch whatever the if it's about Uncle Phil, you watch what you say. I love Fresh Prince. And I loved watching it. I thought it was a great show. And I can't remember it making me laugh out loud one time. We're going to watch it again. Right? It doesn't make me laugh. I would watch it. I thought it was a great show. But as far as laughing out loud, outside of like goofy shit, uh, it wasn't It wasn't for me, man, as far as laugh out loud. But I watched it. I loved it. Religiously, because I thought it was super funny. Super good. Can I, can, I, can I just say something, speaking of laughing out loud? 
guys, we were, um, this came, uh, this is going to come out when we are back from Hawaii, but let me tell you about the weekend we had in San Diego, this current, this last weekend. First of all, something happened at a show that has never happened before. And guys, I've, I've done, I've had shows where there were fights that broke out. I've seen people having sex in the audience. Somebody pulled a knife on you. Throwing up, knife. I mean, everything, electricity going off. You've done tens of thousands of shows. This has never happened before. There was a dude sitting in the front row, and uh, there was a guy sitting right behind him. And I told a joke as this dude was drinking, and he did a spit take all over the back of this dude's head. It was a full on, and it showered this guy. I and the whole place just blew up. Yeah, it was, and I will tell you, this is a tribute to the people who come to my shows. The guy behind, obviously embarrassed and super apologetic, and the guy in front, for a guy who just got spit on. Man, w- took it in stride. Now I paid for. I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna pay for your entire night. You just took a spit take to the back of the head. That's so order up what you want, you know." But, but, dude, I had never. It was a, and it was happened like in slow, yeah, yeah. motion, yeah, yeah. And this, it was that Father's Day show last night. Was yo, fun, guys. I'm telling you right now, these shows are so good. There's the energy in in these shows right now are a fucking 10. Yeah, absolutely. It's a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And this, my set is it right now is cooking. Mm-hmm. I put something back in there that I had taken out. Pause. Uh, pause. What does that mean? Never mind. Keep okay. Um, I put something back in there that I had taken out. Oh, is that what you were pausing on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said pause. And um, <laughs> yo, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And dude, you're crushing it. You're doing ah, a great I job. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, uh, that new joke that I'm working on is just like I, I told it the first night. I told it Friday. I didn't really like how it played out, so I didn't do it Saturday. But then came back Sunday, and I was like, yeah, let's do it again. And I don't. It was a little different, but I don't know. Maybe it was just like inflection, tone of voice, certain spots. Yeah, it worked a little better. So. But that's also like the open mic joke that I'm working on right now. So I'm trying to find certain things in it. Can I tell you, I can't wait to post this when we had to throw that lady out. Guys, there. Wait. Yeah, I know you missed a bunch of the shows this week. You, at one part of the time, I, call, I was calling you from the green room. You were asleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm Friday, like, Jacob, Jacob, come out here. Friday. He was asleep in the green room. Yo, I was tired. That weed put me to bed. Dude. Shout, out, shout out Thunder Chief. You put me to sleep. Oh, uh, by the way, shout out Thunder Chief. The mushrooms that I get from this dude are the best mm-hmm. mushrooms I have ever had. But we threw this woman out. Guys, I cannot wait for you to see this clip. So she was up front, dude. This older, uh, there was these two older white women. And they what I, what, you, what night? Uh, Saturday. Early late. Mm, blends in. Couldn't have been late because I was so high. I couldn't have thrown somebody out. It was early. Okay. Must have been early. And um, she was, I forget, dude. It no, was, no, no. I, I'm just thinking to myself, I'm, try, I'm trying to remember that front row, like those crowds. I'm trying to remember who was. So these women were up front and one of the women was having a great time. And the other lady, every time I would tell a joke that she thought was a little crude or you could tell beneath her, she would go, she would make this face. <laughs> Or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was, uh, something like that. Dumb face. And so I let it go for a while because the truth of the matter is, guys, if you, I'm not, you don't have to laugh at my jokes. No, that's what I like the most about art is you pick and choose what you like, and yeah. then and you then get right? choose, you get to choose what you think is fun. But you're not gonna sit in the front row and make make faces like my joke made you nauseous. Yeah. So, yo, dude, I she clearly when I addressed her was of a certain, she considers herself of a certain status. You could tell they had money by the clothes they were wearing and what they were, their shoes and all that stuff that she had never been talked to the way I spoke to her. Mm -hmm. But I told her straight up, get the fuck out of here. Because when first we talked and I was joking, I go, Hey, you know, I got 10 minutes left. So if you, you know, 
And we were talking about whatever. And I said, you know, I've been pretty cool. You've been making these faces at me all show, but I, you don't get to, I don't get to pick and choose if you like my jokes. So, you know, I was like, but it is kind of weird. Those faces that you've been making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, so we got 10 minutes left. If you could, I want to just sing a couple tunes. You don't have to laugh, but if you could not make the, you're disgusted by the show faces for the last 10 minutes, that would be amazing. And I appreciate you yeah, coming to the show. Yeah, yeah. I told one joke. Not only did she make the face, she went overboard. Mm. On purpose. Like on, on purpose. purpose. Eye contact all the time. Uh, like that. And I just stopped the song and I go, hey, get the fuck out of here. That is crazy. I said, I don't give a shit. What I, 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 I was like, you're not going to be an asshole about it. You no. can, but. Your show. Yeah, dude, you're not, and you're not gonna be an asshole, and you're not gonna bring the vibe down. We're having such a good time. You're like, yeah, it's someone it's who's not gonna have. It's someone, nah. yeah, it's someone who's never been told no type shit. Yeah, like, I'm not putting up with that shit anymore. No, nah, you're not getting away with it. Nah. Like it, it's, it's, yeah, like they're doing it either for attention or just because that's who they are. But at the same time, you're gonna get the attention. You also gonna get told to fuck off. It's, like they were doing it because they had never been spoken to like that before. Yeah. She was, yeah. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It, was it, was she astounded by like what was oh, she Oh like, yeah, dude. And the rest of the crowd was very happy to throw her out. Did she did she put up a fight at all? Or did she no, get... no, no fight. And her friend stayed because her friend was like, she's been being a bitch all night. Hilarious. Like, yeah, because the, the bouncer was like, you gotta go too. And the friend looked at me and goes, Do well, I have to go? I go, No, of course. You've been You've been good. You've been having a good time. You've been great. Even if you're not having a good time, you haven't been looking at me like I just took a shit in your water. Do you know, she looked like I had jizzed on her Pinot Grigio or something, which I would have if it had made her enjoy the show more. Gross. <laughs> I'm happy to dish out a little of the front row if that's what you're looking for a little Gallagher show. But yeah, it was, uh, and, and La Jolla was beautiful. And we went down and saw those, the seals, dude. Yeah. Amazing. You, yeah. Yeah. It was I mean, you did. I think I had my migraine that day. Yeah, on Father's Day. Yeah. I spent the day by myself. Yeah. <laughs> Relax over there. I don't really care. I know. We see each other all the time. Yeah. yeah. I, again, I had it like we talked about it. And I even I did feel bad. Like I text you and I was like, yo, I, I do feel bad. Like I'm sorry. This was like, you know, it's Father's Day and like we should have been hanging out. Like, but legit, I sat in the room in and out sleeping from I think I woke up at 10 and told you, like, one, I was freezing, and two, like, I couldn't even open my eyes. Yeah, you'd never had a migraine before. No. No. And uh, took some Excedrin and and just was in and out of sleep the entire day. We, I kept the blind shut all day. Like, yeah, it was a, it was a rough Sunday can for I, me. Can I tell you something crazy that happened to me on the mushrooms on set? Was that Friday? Saturday. Saturday. Okay, I didn't tell you this because I was trying to compartmentalize it. Well, because also originally you said you weren't taking any. So I forget where I was. Because Saturday you were the buddy, right? Uh, Saturday yeah. I was, yeah, Saturday I went out with uh, Emilio. Shut up. So shut I was up my by night. myself. Maybe I was, it felt like a really long time. You had to be in the room. Yeah, I was by myself. And I don't know if this is therapy or... Because I've been, by the way, guys, I mentioned, uh, I don't know how many months ago that I was going to start therapy. Hypnotherapy, right? Yeah, this has changed my life. This woman has changed my life. Um, I feel like a different human than I did Saturday. You know, when you go to therapy and you work things out, it's almost like these things are leaving your body or you're like this stuff that you've been holding on to. Right. And I... Look, man, I, there's just a certain point in my childhood that I don't remember before. Right. And I, I honestly was so high on Saturday. I can't tell you that I remember where I was when this was happening. I don't know why I feel like I was in the elevator, but this feels like it lasted longer than that. But it was definitely a time when I was alone. Okay. And I, the night before, I had had a weird dream. Um, I had, I had a weird dream of a, like a dude. And I don't know if I remember I had told you, I think it was a dude, just a figure wise. I don't know if I ever told you about this one time I was doing Reiki, um, with the, with Michelle. Mm. 
And she said, we were talking about young Josh. And I go, I see him. I see Josh. I see when I picture myself in my head, I can never picture grown up me. I picture eight, eight year old me. Right. And I think I told you this where I was with Michelle and she was like, picture, picture young you. Where is he? I'm like, I can't see him. He's in the woods. He's running back and forth. He doesn't want to come out. So I, in the night before this, um, I had had a dream about me in the woods. There was like a, I, there was somebody else there, but I couldn't quite see who that person was. And, um, it just felt weird. Hmm. And so I take the mushrooms Saturday and I don't, again, I, don't, I can't remember where I was. You had to have been in a hotel room. But I, 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 I am talking to young me and I'm telling him, Hey dude, you're safe. No matter what happened with you, I'm here to protect you. Now I said this out loud. I'm here to protect you. There's nothing that can hurt you anymore. Like I, I, because I think young Josh, before I started doing therapy or whatever, really a lot of the, my bad habits were that dude just trying to protect me. And it's the first time I ever said out loud that he didn't have to protect me anymore, that I was here to protect him mm -hmm. and things were going to be fine. And whatever, I don't even know if anything, I, I can't, because I don't, I don't remember or whatever. I just have a feeling that I'm, that, that this young dude doesn't feel safe. And I, was like, hey, no matter what you, whatever you think happened or happened or wherever you're at, that's over. And you don't have to worry about that anymore. I, I was talking out loud in wherever I was. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm here to keep you safe. And dude, I woke up Sunday like brand new. Interesting. Brand new. Like I woke up Sunday like I don't, I, I didn't, I can't, I don't know how to explain it. Brand new. Like there was something, an energy or a feeling or a memory or something that was, I've been carrying around that I must have gotten used to carrying mm -hmm. because when I woke up Sunday, it was gone. Did you ever get lost in the woods as a kid? I, I have to tell you, dude, there's just a certain age that I just don't remember. Huh. You know? Yeah. I'd be wanting to ask your mom, mom, like grandma or grandpa. Yeah. Like maybe there is a time where you legit maybe like maybe not got lost but like lost direction but eventually figured out made your way home type shit but like maybe there is actually something that happened where you did actually get lost in maybe yeah in i don't words. know but but what what a fantastic like i i feel and then sunday night last night on stage i felt different than i've ever felt it's one of my favorite sets i've ever had that's good it just felt like what I want my shows to be, which is a living, breathing, changing right. thing. It morphs into whatever the audience dictates that show's going to be like that night. Mm -hmm. And, but, but, but I, I don't, it was, usually it takes me a day or two to really, before I would say anything out loud, which was what it did. Right. Just to compartmentalize and think about what the fuck it was, but it was bananas. Dude. Well, I think that was a good day for that to happen too, because Saturday you seemed off all day. Yes. I don't know why. I kept trying to get it out of you and you wouldn't let anything out. Yeah. But Saturday you were very, very energy wise off. Yeah. Off, off. Yeah. yeah I yeah. couldn't figure out why. Yeah. And so it was a good day, I guess, for that to happen because you woke up the next day and you were fine. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I maybe it was just, I don't know. It, it, but it was a great weekend all around. Yeah. Absolutely. All around a great weekend. And all around. You're all around. And you're right, man. I didn't, there was no reason for you to come on Sunday because I see you all, every day is Father's Day. Dude. I see you all the time. Yeah. Facts. Did I tell you, you saw that post that I made where I asked these dudes. Those two dudes thought they were, that you were hitting on them? I asked these, I was up in a neighborhood and I asked these dudes, I go, hey, is there like a real, is there a healthy, the question I asked was, is there a healthy restaurant right near here that is walkable? And these dudes thought I was hitting on them. And, and, and here's the thing. I was insulted 
that they thought I was hitting on them because I was so far out of their league. Like, how, how are you going to think I'm hitting on you, Jack? Combined, you two are eight. Like, maybe you're a five and a three and a four and a four. But you think I'm hitting on you guys? I don't know. Sometimes good-looking people have low self-esteem. Makes them feel better about them. Hey, dude, listen. I, 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 was more ins- I wasn't insulted at all that they thought I was hitting on them. I was just insulted that they thought they were in the same ballpark as people that I would hit on. I will say I didn't see the guys, so I can't attest to listen, this. If I'm hitting on a dude, he doesn't have a dad bod. You know what I mean? Hey, don't shame dad bods. I'm not shaming. I'm just telling you my preference would be some wider shoulders and maybe like a Michael Phelpsy kind of V. You want a dude that's bigger than you. I don't listen, dude. I don't need him to be bigger, but I don't, I don't, I don't listen. I don't, I just want a, a harder bodied guy. Maybe this is a weird conversation. You started it. <laughs> I wanted to see how far I could take it. I'm just, I wanted to see how far he would go. That's why I asked. Oh, so you want a bigger guy? As I started saying harder bodied guy, I'm like, this is a bad. You fell right into my trap. Yeah. But, you know, I guess I have a type. Yeah, but yeah. And that's women, I hope. Yeah, right. Not I hope. You could like whatever you want, but you haven't married for 20 years. So, yeah, I do lean towards, but I will tell you the opposite. I, it, as attracted to, I'm not attracted to very muscular. Women. women i'm not not like i i think serena williams is one of the most attractive athletes that has ever remember when we saw her at whole foods oh my god dude, dude no on the tra- attractive level i would agree this is not why i'm saying do you remember dude the size jacked oh my shit jacked she is a unit unit her yeah. quads were just yeah it was legit. Like I, I, it was like it was like being in the presence of a god. It was like she yep. was just. I remember, dude. Oh I, my uh, god! Do you remember also when we saw Clint Eastwood at Whole Foods? Yeah. And opposite. Uh, completely. Yeah. His it when I say his skin was hanging off of his bones, and this was six years ago, dude. This was not six years ago. I was I was too young to know who Clint Eastwood was. Oh yeah. I was probably thirteen. Yeah, he looked old then. Do you remember what you said to me? You wouldn't go ask him for a picture because you were like, as a grown man, I can't go ask another grown man for a picture, mm-hmm. which I agree with and disagree with. But like, I get it. Like, I get why you would say that. And I remember you looked at me and you said, dude, that's Clint Eastwood. And I was like, that looks just like some old fuck to me. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, I, and I was like, you're going to go ask him for a picture. And you said, I can't. <laughs> I was like, why not? And you said, you go ask him for a picture. and. And 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 then I'll I'll get in the picture with you. Yeah. And I said, no. Yeah, you did. You fucked. Me. <laughs> Had I known who it actually was, I would have done it. But I was too young to understand the 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 presence that I was in. Let me ask you, you know a question. I mean? Best looking person you've ever seen in person. When I look in the mirror every day. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, By the way, not that far off. You're handsome, and and it's me and my girlfriend. Those are my top two answers. She's okay, number one. let's go. No, no, no. Yeah, come on, come on. Uh, how the best looking person I've seen in person? Do you have one? It might be a second for me to think. Yeah, I, for me, it's a. Oh boy, it's it's a tough one, and it's between, um, uh, Selma Hayek. Oh, I, I'm and I, honestly, Jewel. Gem, yes. Uh, but if I, I, I if I, I had I, a celebrity crush, it's Selma Hayek. Uh, Selma Hayek was was, but but when Jewel came on the Josh Wolf show, dude. Oh oh, Jewel. Yes. Oh, I thought I, no. you were calling no, Selma Hayek. Selma Hayek Jewel. No, oh. either Selma Hayek <laughs> or, or Jewel. Jewel. Yeah, Yo, got it, got it, got it. When Jewel came on the Josh Wolf show, I, I was already a huge fan because of how uh, her music, and I was then a huge fan. Because of how funny she is. She hopped on stage with me and Jiffy at a show in Nashville. Yeah. And not only was obviously her voice better than either of ours, but she was funnier than either one of us. Which she was, was also a, wicked. Nice. A bummer. Incredibly nice. Incredibly interesting. And then to show up in person, because you never know how someone's going to look in person. She was better looking in person. Better looking. It was like. Interesting. One of the only people that I. Yeah, I think your mom's the same way. I think she's better looking in person. Mm. And that's. Yeah. Saying something because, but, but for me, 
Yeah, it's either Selma Hayek or Jewel. I don't know, in all honesty. Like, I haven't seen that many. Only the most of the celebrities or like celebrities I see in the wild are comics. And yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't even know who I would throw up there. Even like on like Lights Out with Spade. Like it was really just comics. Yeah. And that was it. But I don't know. And I didn't really, I didn't really come to Chelsea's Chelsea that often. No, you didn't. And when I did, it was. But we, you did like after lately, and you sat on my lap for that one round table, which right? Was super but the funny. two people at that table were Jiffy and Brad Wallace, and I'm not putting them on that list. No, who's better looking, Jiffy or Brad Wallace? Jiffy, <laughs> clip it and send it to Brad. I don't care. I think Brad is pretty well aware though. Um, but, I love that. Yeah. Love that. Hey, not. Let me ask you something. Another thing, just for Brad, who out of the regulars on the round table is Brad better looking than? Yeah, Brad. Uh, sorry, buddy. I don't know if I got an answer for that. Okay. Um, so I'll, uh, Brad, I'll, I'll make sure I have an answer for you when I see you next to that. Yeah, Brad, you're really smart with a good personality. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, I will say, man, kudos to you. Like, you and Josh Wolf, both a wife out of their league. Oh, so, I mean. Shit, dude. His, his Shannon is. Yeah. Yeah. And so, the, you know, can't say much after that. Like, but yeah, man, I don't know who, for me, would be, like, was the most attractive person I've seen in person. I uh, you can put a guy on the list. Oh, I, I oh I know. Yeah, I just don't. I don't know who I'd even put on there. Truthfully, young Jonathan Sheck was, dude, old gorge. J- Jonathan Sheck right now. When we just saw him, oh, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, but he's a handsome motherfucker. He was Greek god. Like you're, there is zero flaws on this human. Yeah, he's in pretty good shape. Yeah, yeah, and then also like, yeah, he's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there, He's a good dude. We like Shaq. Uh, a great dude. So let me ask you yeah, something, dude. I, yeah, uh, maybe I'll come back to that one. I don't come know. Come back to that. Because I also, like, you've seen way more famous people in person than I have. But I've also, like, I've seen a decent amount of them. And it's hard to just kind of recollect. By the way, speaking of famous people, uh, I, so, I, apparently J-Lo and Ben Affleck are getting a divorce. Thank God. Can I, in generally... These articles would not catch my attention. Okay. But I read an article and then some comments about these people were just, I'm so surprised they seem so in love. Are you really surprised? Have you seen any of the photos of them in public? It's not just that, dude. Look at their track record with love and marriage. Are you, I mean, they've got to each be on number three or four. How long was she married to Mark Mark Anthony? Is that his name? To Skeletor. She was married to- Is he Skeletor? Mexican Skeletor. Yeah, dude. He is Mexican Skeletor. Is he Mexican? I don't want to call him Mexican if he's not. But he's- Let me me find out. He's Hispanic Skeletor. Skeletor. He is 100% Skeletor. Skeletor. Hispanico Skeletor. He is, dude, for a guy who honestly looks like he has to put skin on every morning because he's so thin. Like for he like he has to he wakes up a skeleton and he Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican skeleton. He is a hundred percent. But dude, that just shows you. If you're a How music, long were they together? I, I don't how I feel, like, I feel like they were together a long time. I think he's been alive for two thousand years. So he feels like a guy that's dated a lot of people. Do you know? Yeah. I feel like I, th- I feel like he, he, we think he's getting older and then he's going to disappear. And when then this generation of people die, he's going to reappear. Yeah. Yeah. He feels like that type of dude. Mm. Like he'll pop up in different parts of the world. Yeah. It's getting harder for vampires with social media, you know? Do you but, know there's something going on right now? There's, sorry, to, you know, we'll go, I'll go back to that, but keep going on. That's right. You know, I forgot what I was going to say. All right. Good talk. Yep. But yeah, there's a, you know, there's a crazy like thing going around right now that people really still think there's a, I think a documentary just dropped or a movie or whatever that. People really still think vampires are roaming the earth. Okay. So if I'm going to go in order of believability that exists. Okay. uh, uh, Vampire is number one. No, I'm asking you. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Vampire. Bigfoot. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Vampire, Bigfoot. Skinwalkers. Skinwalkers. You know that like the chupacabra cryptids. Yeah. Cryptids. But I think vampire, the, it just doesn't make sense that blood would keep you alive. I mean, you, 
Yeah, it does. Does it? Dad, what happens if I, like, what, like, you know the term bleeding out? Oh, yeah, blood does keep you alive. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, on the blood pod, is, for sure. Does blood keep me alive? Blood is very Yeah, impaired. it's Blood's actually impaired. what your heart pumps throughout your body to keep you living. Yeah, dude, I appreciate you spelling it out for me. <laughs> hey, I, I felt like I had to based on your statement of, does blood keep you alive? But that's why I'm saying maybe vampire first. Uh, no way. Bigfoot is a is just a, is a bear that walks around. Have you not seen the videos? Dude, I follow so I many want, bear pages. I want Bigfoot on, to be I, a lot. I want Bigfoot to be real so bad. I know. You and your mom used to do the... Gone squatching, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I want, just for the sake of it, but like, you know what's funny? is like, this is where I'm, I'm, I'm torn. I want Bigfoot to be real so bad just because like, I don't know, the lore. Like, I just love it. But I don't want Bigfoot to be real because I don't want all those Bigfoot lunatics to be like, told you. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't want yeah. them to have the satisfaction of knowing Bigfoot's actually real. What, what do you I, know what I mean? Yeah. What I love about the Bigfoot people and any conspiracy or theory people like this is that we live in a time where you don't have to prove yourself right. People have to prove you wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's way harder to do that. Yeah. Because I can't 100% say there's no Bigfoot, except I am. But you can't. I am. But you can't. Because I just want you to pay attention to the people who think Bigfoot are real and and just pay just go ahead whenever someone's like Bigfoot's real. Take a look at their page. You taking a shot at me right now? Do you don't think Bigfoot's real? I do. You do not. I believe in cryptids. I believe skinwalkers. I believe Define skinwalkers. Skinwalker are those like the one skinwalkers are giant, lengthy, not giant, but like lengthy, no face. Creepy ass little things, but they can also morph into it other does not exist. beings. Does not exist. Does a hundred percent not exist. Okay, have you ever seen those videos of like people walking through the woods and it's just like you can hear somebody like calling for help, but like you can't find yeah. anybody that's yeah. calling out for help. Yep, that's for me or not for me, but to to the believers, that is a skinwalker who has copied the voice of a human. Doesn't respond to anything that you say, but it's just saying, help me to lure you to a place of, uh, like, secluded place to then kill you. So, these videos, are you saying it couldn't just be a friend of theirs? Yeah, 10 sure. yards out, going, help me. Sure, it could. Because what happens at the end of the videos? Is it Blair Witchy and the video drops? I mean, look, I've seen trail cams and shit of, like, some... I've done so many deep dives just on cryptids and shit. Please send me a skinwalker... Video? Video. Okay. So I can do a little... I mean, I bet you we could... I could find one. Yeah, we'll, we'll do one later. Yeah, I mean, I... I, It's... Skinwalker is maybe more ridiculous than Bigfoot, I think. Yeah, a shapeshifter? Based on, based on like, feels... But also, like, here's the thing. When they shapeshift, they never get it fully right. I don't know if that makes sense. So, like... So you're like Jacob with two Bs. Kind of. Like, like a little off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like but the so Armenian like, Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> So, I, it is what I love about our the Armenian names. They're like close to our names, but they have like a U and you'd be like J A C O U B B. And you're like, yeah, eh, close. close enough. Yeah. Yeah. No, but so like, but also like their their animal, like if they were to morph into an animal, it's like a it's like an animal that is pretty close to what the animal looks like, but it's just missing a few key characteristics type shit. Yeah. So like, I don't know how to explain that. There was one video I saw and there was like a goat showed up on this woman's porch Yeah, on a ranch. Not a goat that she owns, but there's a goat was just, looked everything like a goat, but no ears. So like it was just missing an eyes super wide and like just sitting at the front door staring yeah. type shit. So like they, they miss a couple things, which I think is. It, isn't it possible funny. that that was just a goat born with no ears? On a ranch that she owns and knows that she doesn't have a goat with no ears? But but why 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 isn't it possible that a goat just showed up with no ear? How would a goat randomly show up on her property? I don't know where she lives. Do on you? a ranch. Yeah, that's where goats are. That you own and you put there. Yeah. The goat I, randomly? You think she counts all of her she doesn't know she she checked all the ears on the goats? I feel like if all the if I owned goats, I would know if one of my goats didn't have ears. What if they fucked and had a like a, a sister fucked a brother and they had a baby with no ears? It that wasn't feels... a, it wasn't a baby goat. It was a yeah, full but grown it grows goat. Grows up into a full grown no eared goat. 
My point is, if you owned a goat with no ears, you would know, baby or not. Perfect. But we don't know this woman. Maybe she had a goat and she cut off the ears and then she made the video. You don't know what happened. Whatever, man. Uh, let me ask you a question. Because this let me was, ask you something. This was asked us in San Diego. Oh, yeah, you answered. But you, did you? Yeah, I was on stage for the cryptid, the cryptid question. No, no, the question about if you could be one animal, what would you be? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I picked a combo of animals, which I thought was the best. Well, yeah, I didn't have a rebuttal for it because it actually sounds like a pretty good combo. Yeah, they, somebody asked if you were going to be an animal, what animal would you be? And I said, can I combine animals? And they said, yes. And it's a, it's a, I think a hawk. No, eagle, you're right. Eagle. Eagle are the biggest type of bird. Yeah, so eagle and a gorilla. So a uh, gregle. Regal. A Griegel will fuck you up. Death yeah, but but the yeah, but the main thing you said that made me laugh was that you'd just love to see a gorilla flying and throwing poop at people. That would be amazing. That'd be pretty funny. That would be just to fling poo from the air. Phew. Shit from above. <laughs> yeah. Who yeah. fling poo? When I monkey, see monkey fling poo. Who fling poo? You know, at the at the uh at the Los Angeles Zoo, you probably don't remember this. Oh, I remember it. When that we were at the zoo together. And you were younger, and there was a dude mocking the gorillas mm -hmm. near us. Mm -hmm. And he was going, ho, 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 right? Mocking the gorillas. Oh, I remember this. And this gorilla, real stealth-like, shit in his hand. And whipped it out of Hit this dude. Flung right poo. in the face. Flung, it fell out of the sky. You almost didn't see it. It, it was like, it was like a, he was like, grenade. Dude, it was a like, crazy it was like a, running hook shot. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it was like it was like D-Day where you're just throwing grenades into bunkers. He was like, I got it. Dude, he nailed it. Right, it was it was it was spot on. Yeah, it was pretty good. I, that is not the first time that gorilla has flung poo at somebody. You think first chance? No, no way. Because there's no way first time you're going skyhook. Well, I think probably you think they practice in the back. They're like, we got to hit these assholes. I just, I gotta be honest, I feel like it happens more than it actually is talked about or documented. For sure. Because there are idiots who go to zoos like that guy. Yeah. And those idiots show up every day. And monkey, monkeys are smart. Gorillas are smart. Yeah. Apes are smart. And they're smarter than the people that are mocking them. And I, that's just fact. And so they, they get ready for it. Like, the, I, I can only imagine that happens so much more then it's actually documented. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, dude, I wouldn't, I, I'm a, if I'm a gorilla and I'm in a cage at a zoo where people are just constantly taking pictures of me, mocking me, some people throw shit at the, at the animals. By the way, I think zoos are inhumane and I just don't really care for them. Um, also, they're just kind of boring. Um, boring? You're just walking around staring at animals who are baking in the sun. You're telling me a polar bear belongs at a zoo? No. No, no, like they're they're inhumane and they're boring. I'm walking around in the hot ass sun with all these kids screaming for the gorillas to do something and then crying when nothing happens. And, and I don't know what zoo you're going to, but the LA zoo. They scream and then they cry. Is that what they do? The the children? Yeah. Yeah. I don't never seen it. You've never seen a children a child scream or cry at the zoo. I have, but not because the gorilla wasn't moving. All the time. Really? All the time. The kids are like, why isn't it doing anything? Definitely. And the dads are like, or the parents are like, it's just, you know, doing its thing. And it's just being a, you know, an animal. And then the kid throws a fucking temper tantrum because the the zoo animal isn't being a, 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 you a know, zoo animal. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think zoos are dumb. Okay. Um, Dude. I don't remember where I was going with that. I, 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 I and, and there's no reason to get back to the J-Lo. Uh, no, this is the one, the one thing I'm going to say on the J-Lo and Ben Affleck. Who the fuck cares? Who cares? I, I just don't understand why. Like, it's, it's, it's the pop culture. It's the media. I understand it. I don't get what the fixation is over all these celebrity couples. I agree with you. Who gives a fuck? I Who gives a fuck? I do agree with you. But like, this is why I thought it was so funny. Uh, like, that's why generally these articles don't catch my... But I thought it was so funny when people were surprised. They seem so in love. They did the last four times. Yeah. They were married, too. Yeah. But also, just again... Who fucking cares? Let them do their own life shit. Like, let them be people. I also don't, I just don't give enough of a shit to know what celebrities are doing. Well, like, listen, dude. Or especially with their their couples or love life. Like, I will say Mark Anthony and Mick Jagger are the prime examples of why, of just, you don't, doesn't matter what you look like. If you're a rock star, I mean, Mick Jagger is, 
It just had a he just had a baby with like a 26 year old woman. He did something crazy like that. He's got to be close to 80. He looks great though. Well, d- doesn't he? Yeah, dude. But he's on every drug possible to keep him alive and moving. I'm sure he's on every peptide. He's definitely taking some testosterone. He's probably has the blood of a couple of children that he spins around every day. Not the children, but the blood. Um, you know? Like, he feels like... Is he close to 80? Uh, how old was Mick Jagger when, he had his, when his last child was born? His last child was born in 2016. Oh, yeah. Okay. How old was he? He was 73 then. He's over... Yeah, he's 81. He's 81. Yeah. And it was his eighth... And youngest child. I, I, eight kids. Jesus. I can't imagine being that old and want, but he's not taking care of the baby. What are we talking what, about? What, 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 yeah. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah. He's not taking care of the baby. I will say this, dude. You're there. You're, you're on one. Oh, dude. You're, you're on one. Like your attitude in general, you, you're, you're, you're uh, a little, I'm a little pissed. Yeah. Your anger is palpable. Well, okay, let me, we were at lunch before this because we just got off a plane. Yeah. And this is one of my big pet peeves. Outside, inside, wherever you are. Uh, if we're, you and I were sitting at a table outside, we were one of the only two tables that were outside occupied. Yeah. It's warm here in Vegas. As you and I are eating and we're talking or whatever, uh, three elderly people walk out and they decide to stand a foot away from our table and have an extremely loud conversation right next to me. And, and to be fair, there was plenty of room around the. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. You you I, were outdoors. I, I, plenty of room is an understatement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the fact it's like me parking in a parking lot away from people and you choose to park right next to yeah, me. Yeah, that gets me. What's the point? Like, I, it's like, is it just no court awareness? Is it just not being courteous? Is it just because the dementia kicked in for all three of them at once? Like. Why are you having a conversation a foot away from me while I'm trying to have a conversation with a dude who's sitting at my table? Why do you choose to stand right next to me? You were like, they're waiting for a car because it's hot. And I was like, no, they're not. They're not waiting in the shade for their car to pull up. You think valet is going to come bring them their car? No, they're just old as shit standing right next to me having a loud ass conversation about somebody's birthday. Who I don't give a fuck about. It was the guy. It was his birthday. Yeah, they were having a birthday lunch. Great. Fuck off somewhere Could have been his last car. birthday ever. I fucking hope it was. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. That was oh. <laughs> I will say this. Yeah, I was, I, it's just, it's just so annoying. Is that a generational thing? Because when that happens, it's never people my age. Can it's I say. Always old people. The one thing I miss about COVID is this. <laughs> people gave you space. Yeah, man. There was no people here. Yo, know, I was this trip down to San Diego. I put my backpack on when I was in line for the plane. And it hit somebody. And you mean they hit you? No, the backpack hit somebody. Oh, when you like you swung it around? Yeah. And he, I heard him go, excuse you. And I go, dude, if I put my backpack on and it hits you, you're too close to me, bro. It's not excuse. It's you. Excuse you, man. Yeah, you're excused, motherfucker. That's like, the thing. Like, I, I do miss... I don't know why when people are in line, they feel like that. They have to breathe down your neck. No, it's like, you're not, do you need, do you want to be wearing my pants also? Oh, like it's you're, so, it's wow. so frustrating. Yeah. It's so it frustrating. Be. And it always happens at the airport. the airport. It's always in TSA lines. You know what I've started doing is like, or getting on the plane. Crazy. Dude, I have started, I have started putting, like, if I feel it happen, I'll, I'll take, like when I walk up in the line. I'll take one step too far forward and then back up on purpose and have my bag behind me and just like, give me some space. I had to say it one time to where yeah. we were on the plane and I was walking and this woman kept bumping into me and I was like, miss, could you take a second please and just back up? Like, yeah. let me have some space. Yeah, your bag like, shouldn't hit me. You shouldn't hit my bag. I oh, shouldn't be able stuff. to feel you. your hot breath on my neck, dog. Pause. By the way, Pause. yo. <laughs> That's what Pause. you should say to that woman when you turn around. I shouldn't hear. I shouldn't feel your hot breath. Hot breath on my neck, dog. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. It's just frustrating. Like, but you're on one right now, dude. You're in general. You feel a little tense, a little aggro. Yeah, I'm excited to get to Hawaii. Yeah, you feel a little like you're ready to geo go. Well, I don't know. Some frustrating things have happened to me in the last couple of weeks or last week. Go. Can I? Did I tell you about the thing that happened at Target too? Oh, this one's going to jack me up even more. 
I almost went full Karen on this guy. Do you okay, hear let's it? hear it. Okay. I went to use the bathroom at Target last Thursday. And number one, number two. Two. Okay. Well, technically, I guess both. Because whenever you pee, you don't have to poop. But whenever yeah, you but, poop, you have to pee. Yeah. You know? Some people are going to be like, what? Uh, but it's a number two. Yeah. And so I walk into the restroom and I walk past the dude who's cleaning the women's restroom. And I walk right past him and I'm like, hey, man, how are you? And I walk in. The minute I sit down, he comes in. Hey, man. And not, I'm going to not, I'm just going to use my tone of voice, not his tone of voice. Mm -hmm. Yelling through this bathroom. Hey, man, I got to clean this bathroom. I'll be waiting outside. And I was like, okay, man, just sat down. You're going to have to give me a couple minutes. Yeah. And I legit, I timed it. I'm looking at the minutes that pass by. Yeah. Three minutes later. Which is not enough time for a, a good number dude. Hey, man, I'm going to say this one way and one way only. You can't rush greatness because if you do, your asshole falls out of you. What? Prolapse. If you push too hard, your asshole prolapse. How hard are you pushing? No, no, that's what I'm saying. You can't rush it because if you're pushing to try to rush it, do people push their asshole out of their body? So it's prolapse. A prolapse asshole? Yeah, but that's a... How... Uh, how hard would Relax. you have to, What are you doing over just there? Just seeing what happens if I push. No, I'm not going to lie. Matt, I thought he was going <laughs> to shit himself in your studio. How hard do you got to push? Really hard. That's Doesn't what's, a hemorrhoid come out before an asshole? I, look, either way... Dude, if I pushed real hard and my butthole came out, I I might jump out of a window. I might just kill myself. Yeah, yeah. that's... Yeah. But so that's my point, is you can't rush greatness because bad things will happen. Yeah. To your butt. Apparently. Yeah. And so... He comes in three minutes and is like, hey, man, like I said, I, I got to clean the bathroom. Like, uh, I'll I told you I'm waiting outside. And I was like, hey, brother, it's been three minutes. Like, you got to give me some time to take a shit. Yeah. Like, relax. Exact words for me. And he closed the door again. Two minutes later. Mm. Hey, dude, I got to do my job and clean this bathroom. And I, and I just pinched it off. You know what I would have told him? No, wait, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I just pinched it off and I started washing my hands and I walked out the door and I was like, hey, man, you better watch how the fuck you talk to people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with the angsty? Because, man, you don't bust in like that. Like, I get you're doing your job. Cool. I'm also doing a job. Yeah, man. dude, like, but you don't. Yeah. But like, dude, like, dude I, it was, he came in with that I energy. Know, I know. I'm, I'm going to match your energy. So if you come in talking crazy i'm gonna come out talking crazy yeah like i was like man you just don't come in and talk to somebody like that i understand you got to do your job but you could be way less of a dick about it not only that i, I think i would have replied with something like um if you rush me you're gonna have a bigger cleanup you know i, I maybe might have smeared a little poo i almost <laughs> <laughs> monkey flick poo just a little on the seat just a just a just, just a like I would go, a right, right, fuck you. And just right F on one side and you on the other side and poop. Dude, and and he didn't say, he was sitting out there and I said that to him. He didn't say a word to me and walked in. Yo, I went to the right to the home section. He was looking at the candles. I then turned back. He was in there for two minutes. He didn't clean jack shit. Yeah. And I know that for a fact because if you had to actually clean the bathroom, you would have been in there for a cool minute. Those Target bathrooms aren't spotless. Those floors need to be mopped. Like, and I, and I, and, and I was like, oh, I almost, like, I almost went full Karen and went and spoke to his manager and been like, hey, you gotta do something about this guy. Like, I just, I just, I just don't get it. What's with the hostility, man? Yeah. I know you gotta clean the bathroom, but guess what? You also know I gotta take a shit. Yeah. And how would you feel if someone came in yelling at you to get out of the bathroom so you could do your job? Yeah, it's a bummer. It's hard to concentrate. Yeah, it's not even concentrate. It's just like, it just it felt like, look, when if, if I was working at Jersey Mike's and needed to clean the bathroom, cool, whatever. It's a single room. It's super easy. But I'm not going in and pressing and rushing a customer to get out so I can do my job. Yeah. Like, it was not, it was not that serious. It, like, it was not that deep. You yeah, just I'm had to it. let me do my thing. It just felt disrespectful to think that me and my time in the shitter was not important enough yeah. for you and your time to clean said shitter, which I know for a fact he did not clean. It, Yeah, 
I it actually, just, I would, just I mean, like I a, don't know how it works. I, maybe they're on a schedule or he has to be done by a certain time. I know I wouldn't be in a rush to clean the bathroom. Facts. Can I tell you, I though, also know he was in a dumb orange hat. Can I tell you, though? Yeah, sorry. That made me angry. Can I tell you, though? <laughs> was so angry. Low key. What one of the grossest things I think can happen. And this is just me. This is, and this is, is this fecal related or is it just period? Kind of. Like but, gross period. It's just for me, what makes me feel gross. Mm. And I don't know why this makes me feel particularly gross, but this one. And I don't, you know me, I'm not a, I don't drop a deuce in public very often. That's not my thing. I don't like the deuce in public. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like, because if I sit down and the toilet seat's warm, it makes me real upset. Okay? Fair enough. But what makes me more upset is if I do got to go and I drop a friend in the pool. Flashback? Yo, when it splashes back onto your butthole, I don't know why that particular water, it makes me want to, I wish there was an ejector seat that would shoot me right through the door and just into the mirror and end my life. Like that is how you don't like a little Poseidon kiss. <laughs> Poseidon kiss? No, dude, I don't is like that, the Poseidon. Isn't kiss. that what it's called? Who? Fuck? I think it's called a Poseidon, Poseidon kiss. Poseidon's <laughs> kiss. I think is what it's called. Poseidon comes up, gives you a little. No, I don't there. mind a Poseidon kiss at my house, but in the a Poseidon kiss, I think it's called Poseidon's kiss. Oh, dude, we're gonna Urban Dictionary that one. I to me is the worst. It, I'm gonna look it over. Or right now. like when it automatic flushes and you're on the toilet. Oh, dude, why and are they it so sprays sensitive? your entire double cheek situation? Oh, yeah, it's a bummer for me. Poseidon's kiss. It sounds like there's a phrase for the water that splashes up from the toilet when your poop drops into the water. It is called Poseidon's kiss. Well, listen, Poseidon. Nailed it. Poseidon, take that. I don't uh, need your kiss. All right, dude, tell them what you need to tell them. Um, first and foremost, uh, thank you guys so much for always tuning in. The newbies, the oldies. Uh, and for those of you future uh, subscribers who come and tune in with us, we thank you. None of this would be possible without you. Um, by the time you hear this, we will be back from Hawaii and uh, we'll have a couple weeks off. We are in Vegas, July 5th and 6th. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's what I was getting to. Okay. Yep. Fourth of July weekend, not the fourth itself, but July 5th and 6th, we are here in Vegas at Kimmel's Comedy Club. Uh, doing some amazing shows. It's going to be fun. It's going to be weird. I can't wait to see how... I can't wait for you guys to see how I'm going to dress for these shows. And my buddy Josh Nasser is going to be the feature for that week. Super funny guy. I can't wait to work with him. We're going to make some fun content while he's here. Let me just also say thanks again. Guys, what an amazing weekend in San Diego. And to be able to sit out in the sun and drink a best day brew down there. Delicious. Perfect beverage. For the hot sun while you're sitting outside. Listen, guys, I am going to start getting you a discount code for this beer. It is the best tasting non-alcoholic beer you're ever going to have in your life. It, it, listen, refreshing, delicious, best day brew. I like the IPA. Get you some. And uh, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates, tickets, all of that good stuff. Um, Josh Wolf Comedy on all social media platforms. Uh, it's Jake Wolf on TikTok, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. I think I'm going to change my Instagram name. Why? Well, because every time we go on the road and people introduce me, they look at my Instagram name and they say Jake Wolf. Uh, so I'm about to change it because, yo, look, if you, when you see me, you call me Jake, Jacob, Josh Wolf's son, whatever you want to call me. That's fine. But I like being intro as Jacob Wolf. Um, so, uh, those are all the things. Um, and I, I think, I think that's it. Thank you guys always again. Um, and as always do someone nice, do something nice for someone today. Tell somebody you love them, and uh, we'll see you next week. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.